hi friends welcome to another video on images so we are creating this web page over here and we have created our divisions and I have removed the text over here that we had and we have specified our divisions and we have also accessed them in our CSS file so now we are going to go ahead and make our web page, our web page exactly as this so let's get started so the first thing that we will do is import both of our images the logo and this background image over here so for that we will write img tag and we will also give it a class to access them from our css file so we will write banner and in the sources we will write images banner.jpg and we will also import our logo so images logo now we have both our images over here in our web page now we of course have to reduce the size of both of these images so for our logo we will decrease the size to 70 pixels height is equal to 70 pixels so this is going to be our size of our logo and now we will set the size of our banner in our CSS so before that we will create uh, all the remaining parts of our division so we also have this sign up button over here so for that we will use the anchor tag anchor tag is used to link to different pages uh, for example if you click on this sign up button over here we will be taken to another page so anchor tag is used for that so we will use an anchor tag for our sign up button so we'll also give it a class called sign up and here we will write sign sign up so we have our sign up anchor tag over here we have a logo and we also have our background image now in our heading text we need to have two things the first is a GT coding the heading of our website and this tagline over here so we need to have both this text in different styles so for that we have to create different spans for this a span is something that we can use uh, to style a small portion of our web page so we will use a span for the first line and another span for our second line so in our heading text division we will create a span with a class called title and in that we will write gt coding right over here and we'll create another span for this text over here so span and with a class name of title too and here we will write for those who love technology so that's it for our heading text now we will just write some content over here this is my web page with images and our footer which says this website is created by GT coding so now we have everything set up in our HTML page now we will move to our CSS and do some styling 
so now we are here in our CSS so the first thing that we will do is remove these uh, margins or paddings over here this white white portion over here so for that we will write star which means that we are going to access all the elements in our web page and here we will write margin 0 and padding 0 this means that there, there will not be any padding or margin by default the first thing we will that we will do is access our banner image over here so we have a class called banner so we'll write here banner and we will set the width to 100 percent so now our if uh, even if we maximize the size of our window the image will always have a width of 100 percent so another thing that we notice over here is that our heading division is 300 pixels but our banner image is exceeding that height and it is going way beyond our heading division so we have to restrict that so for that we can write overflow hidden which means that anything beyond this division will not be displayed so now we don't we can't see our logo and our text so we will remove this property for now so the next thing that we will do is bring our logo to our top left corner so for that first we have to specify the position of our parent tag to something different than static for example we will type position relative so anything that is in our heading division will be position relative to our heading division so if we access our logo from here logo and if we set the position of our logo for example top is equal to 5 pixels and also set the position of our logo to absolute then we can see that our logo will be right on top of our division we can also set uh, the position of the left for example 5 pixels now we have our logo sitting on the right place so we have to define some other styles over here for example we have these rounded corners and this border white border over here we also have a shadow so for that we will write border and we will specify the border to i think three pixels and solid white color i think four pixels would be great so we have set our border we will also set the border radius so border radius is um, 15 pixels so now we have our logo over here we also need to have a shadow so for that we can write box shadow and in box shadow we have to give some parameters over here as to how many pixels left or right or how many pixels top or bottom this shadow should be and the how many pixels should the shadow spread and also the color of our shadow so we will specify five pixels five pixels for our position of the shadow and 20 pixels for the intensity or the spread of our shadow and the color of our shadow so we have our shadow over here if you can see now we have our logo setup so now the next thing that we are going to do is bring in our title 